Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sky Deep. And I wanted to, as promised, give you a short tutorial about how to use or even to enter the Up and Here hubs uh, via your laptop or even your smartphone. Uh, if you already have a VR headset, you probably would know how to get in. So I'll just give you a couple of quick uh, heads ups about all of this. Okay, so the first things first, you would need to enter the URL. The URL is hubs.skydeepofficial.com. I know it's pretty long, but that's what I started with. Okay. Uh, another alternative in the future is that uh, when somebody is already in the room or when the rooms officially become open, I can send you a code uh, and a short link. The short link is skydeep.link. And once you go to that, then you either enter a number pin or a four letter pin. Uh, and then you'll be able to be admitted into the space. Okay. So now let's get into it. I'm going to show you on desktop, which I'm just using uh, my desktop computer, uh, keyboard, and a mouse. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so once you are inside uh, the main screen, right now, uh, you have the opportunity to go in and just try the controls out. So I'm going to click here, right there on the hub training room. While I'm waiting on that, I can point out a couple of things. Uh, no, here we go. We're getting there. Here we are, we're inside. Okay, so you'll notice straight away, uh, you have some options here. If you do have your own standalone uh, headset, like an Oculus Quest or something like that, then you can click this uh, and it will guide you in a certain direction uh, to use that short link I told you about and enter a code. Uh, you also don't have to enter the room. Let's say you're feeling pretty shy and you don't want to talk to people. I mean, hopefully you do, but even if you don't, that's totally fine. You can just watch from the lobby and you'll be like a ghost. Uh, people won't be able to see or hear you. Uh, so that gives you this option. And with a mouse, I'm just moving my mouse around. Uh, yeah, and that's how I look around. But if I want to enter the room, then I click enter room. Uh, it gives me an automatic name. Uh, I can change this name. I highly advise that you change the name because after a while these long auto-generated names really kind of fill up the space. And so I'm just going to type sky. Just keep it really short. Um, and I have the option to change what I look like inside. We're all going to be robots today. Um, I don't have custom avatars for everyone yet but I hope that I can. Uh, if you do have your own custom avatar already, you might be able to, if it's compatible and in the right format, uh, you can upload it uh, using these other links. If you have that already, I'm sure you know how to get into that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with this, hit accept, and uh, now I'm here. I, I'm still not in the room. Technically, I'm still in the lobby. Uh, and here I can click enter. So I enter, I have to give uh, permission to use my mic. Uh, I have to allow. And once I get that checkbox, that means that people, I can talk to people. So next, and I also have the opportunity to mute my mic. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute it before I go in for now. And I'm going in. Now I'm inside. You see here already, uh, it gives me a short tutorial. It says, use the W, A, S, or D keys to move, uh, to hold shift. Uh, if I hold shift to boost, that just means I'll move faster. So if I'm, that's like going into turbo speed. Okay, uh, straight away right here, you'll see that uh, you have some controls like share. 
Uh, that's if you want to invite somebody, then you see here again, we have this short link, skydeep.link, but now on the end, there's some more information. So if I were to just copy that, then I can paste it into a browser or email or into a text message or something like that and get it to someone. Uh, another way is that you can tell them, hey, just go to skydeep.link and enter this code, 176953. Uh, that's what it is for now, but it resets every 72 hours. Okay. Uh, up here, we have some other controls. Um, here, I have a like a pen tool where I can write on the walls if I want. Um, and if I want to undo that, I can just make sure the pen tool is still highlighted and I can control Z to undo if I want to undo it. Um, what else is there? Of course, here you can mute or unmute yourself, or you can just, as it says here, uh, press the letter M. So I just pressed the letter M and that muted and unmuted me. Uh, you'll see some grayed out boxes here. I'm going to go ahead. Well, I'm not logged in right now because I wanted you to see what it's like to be in. But uh, when you're inside the game or inside the hub, uh, this middle button, it looks kind of like a magic wand. You also see it down here in the chat. Um, it lights up pink there in the bottom. Uh, that is a way to uh, add things to the space. Now, these things won't always be enabled in every single room uh, because it can get pretty cluttered with so many people in there, but that's how it is. Uh, here, uh, there's a camera, like a selfie camera, like you can turn it around or you can face it different ways. You can take a picture of you and your friend's avatars or inside the space, uh, and then you'll be able to download that to your computer later or take the photo and move it around in the space. Uh, and then uh, we also have this tool, which right now I don't have populated, but if I wanted, uh, I could share my screen uh, or uh, populate my webcam inside the space. Again, right now that is disabled. This is just a training hub uh, ground in order for you to learn how to move inside. Yeah, so let's look around. Um, yeah, right now it just looks like a room, but if we turn all the way around, you'll see that there are some controls here, like a guide, just in case you forget while you're inside. So I'm going to press my D key to move left, and I'm going to press my W key to go forward, and I'm going to press my A just to shift over to the left a little bit. And now I'm going to get closer and closer and closer. And then I'm going to use my mouse, my left mouse button to turn and look around. And I use my right mouse button to teleport, which I'll show you in a moment. But first, I'm going to press my S key to back up. Boom. All right. Now I'm going to look around. And I'm going to use my right mouse key, as it told me, to try and teleport. And if you notice, when I press my right mouse key and move the mouse around, I get this green circle going around on the floor. Uh, and if I'm not able, if it doesn't want me to teleport there, then the, it'll turn red. Okay, so like I can't go on top of that chair, I guess, and I can't go there. And if I, I'm still holding down the left mouse button, excuse me, the right mouse button, I'm holding it down and when I let go, I jump, I jump, I move, I teleport. I'm going to choose another location. Uh, let's see. Let's go all the way over there to that corner. Boom. There. Now I'm going to use my key and I'm going to turn around. Boom, 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 boom. I can go anywhere. Yeah. So uh, if you start to feel like you're a little confused with the WASD keys, um, you can always just use the arrows. If, you're, if your keyboard has arrows on it, like front, you know, left, right, up, down, then you can use those. Uh, also, you should just know if you get tired of using your mouse to look around and you just want to do a quick turn, you can always use 
which is not on this sign, the Q, which is here, and the E, which is here. I, I hope you can see my mouse. So E makes you turn to the right, Q makes you turn to the left. That's without using your mouse, okay? Uh, you'll also see here on the sign that you can fly. In some rooms, I'm going to allow it. In some rooms, you can fly. And uh, that would be fly mode. You can enable that with the letter G or you can undo it. So in this room, flying is not part of the deal, sorry, but I'm saving that for one of the other special rooms for you. Okay, and then we have um, the toggle menus. So for example, like right now we're, we're in here, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that little tutorial thing. And um, if I hit the tab button, I get some options. Yay! 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 Yeah, and I can do all sorts of things like that. Then I can grab it and move it around. And if I use the rolly ball on, you know, this this thing, this uh, middle rolling thing on your mouse, I can push things away from me. Look, I'm pushing it like through the wall. It's gone. And now I'm bringing it back all with that rolly ball while I'm holding down the mouse and holding an object. So that is the basics about how you get around in here on your desktop computer. If you have a laptop, I highly suggest that if you have a mouse that like a USB mouse or something that you can plug in, then you should definitely do that um, because well, it is, uh, yeah, it's more convenient. Uh, I do find personally that on the trackpad, if I'm just having a laptop with only a trackpad, uh, I can move around and stuff, but it, it can get a little uh, tiring to hold down the mouse click and move it around. Um, also, I haven't figured out how to teleport using the trackpad on the laptop. So again, if you do have just like any old mouse somewhere that has both left and right click functions. Just go ahead and plug it in so that you can be ready to go. Cool. Um, all right. That is it for now. And uh, later I'll put up an update specifically regarding smartphones. Thanks.